Hi, I'm here with Laura Bond, and she is the new executive director at Flowbox.org. And this is the uh, launch of the brand new community center on Larimer Street. Um, Jamie said something about how this center is going to be whatever people want to make it to be. But obviously, you got to have some 2009 ideas in mind. What are some of the goals you'd like to see this become? Sure. You know, in the short term, it's going to serve as the office and the headquarters for Flowbox.org. So even just having a space where our staff and our volunteers can be concentrated and really work together cohesively, come up with some big plans and some big dreams and have a space in which to execute them is going to be a big step forward for the organization. Um, this will be the home for the Denver Street team, which uh -huh. will be here regularly. We'll also use this space um, to hold monthly activate and wake up sessions for people who are just learning about the organization and want to get involved. Uh -huh. um, we're making it available to a couple of partner organizations, including Progressive Veterans. Uh, and we'll be working with a couple of art programs in Denver that work, um, one of them works with writing, another of them works with theater, kids from, you know, sort of uh, high schools around here that maybe don't have art and theater programs, using the space to supplement their education by giving them a place to come in and, and work on those areas. Now, you know, 2008 was an unusual year because there was like a, a center of gravity with the DNC here and everything. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a real center of gravity for action in Denver in 2009? Yeah, I mean, I think we're part of uh, building one and galvanizing it. I mean, I think there is a tremendous groundswell of energy that, you know, is, uh, was built up around the time of the DNC and the election. I think a lot of people really got turned on by what happened. I think people were turned on by the fact that it worked, <laughs> that people made a difference and that the world we're living in right now maybe has a little more hope in it and a little more connectivity and some tools that make it simple for people to organize and come together and, and do projects. So um, I think the energy's there. I think this community space is part of um, the next step, which is making the environments available to people who want to house that energy somewhere. Now for the dummies that don't know, explain a little bit about the difference between Flowbots.org is a nonprofit and fightwithtools.org. So Flowbots.org is the parent organization of the program Fight with Tools. So it's really one entity. Fight with Tools right. is the name uh, of the program, which includes the development of street teams around the country and a website called fightwithtools.org. But Flowbots.org is kind of the organizational body that sort of oversees all that and then we'll be piloting some new programs in the next six months to a year. Now, somebody in the greater Denver metro area is doing like either non-profit community organizing work or else arts work or something. Uh, can they feel like they can just contact you yes. and be able to use the space? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are, you know, you can see it's not a huge space, so we're putting up our calendar right now. We're reaching out to partners. We want partner partners to reach out to us. You know, look at the space, figure out how we can work together. But we're definitely interested in filling up that calendar through the end of the summer and into the early fall. Fantastic. Well, yes. congratulations. It's very, very cool to have this started. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for being here. And hello, Colorado Springs. Yay!